what a difference a year makes. We went into last year and we were talking about the inexperience. I mean, talent, a lot of talent, but inexperience and question marks that you're in your group. Now you come back this year. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to say it, but Pro Football Focus saying you got the top corner tandem in the country. They're good. I'll say that. I'm not going to lie. They're they're they've worked their butts off. Um, spring ball was great for for most of them, um, and I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this season, and I think the kids are too. I mean, they they've worked their tails off in the weight room this off season, so it's going to be exciting. You know, it's one of the interesting things about all coaches, and one of the things I know is about you, you know, you figure out what buttons to push with different guys. And I know that's something that you really focus on to concentrate. And so, you know, I, I remember a couple of years ago, you were talking about Vert and Spring Ball, and you kind of got after him a little bit uh, in the media, and he responded in the season. And the same thing seems like it kind of happened this spring. You saw him respond again this spring. And one of the interesting things I noted – uh, you know, talking to his, uh, talking to some of the other, uh, you know, recruits, they were like, "Hey, I was up on, at the camp, and Vert was coaching me and getting on me." Seems like he's he's kind of taking on that that mentality as well. It, it seems like you maybe have found that, you know, that that mesh. What you need to do to push that button. Well, yeah, and I think that button pushing is over with him. I, I think he's gone over the hump. I, I think he understands the, what he has in front of him. You know, not only for Michigan from mm -hmm. him, but for his own future. Mm -hmm. You know, I think he gets it now. And and he, since spring, you know, he came back and practiced the end of spring. Like, he never missed a step, mm -hmm. never missed a beat. And then all I've heard from most of our guys is great things in this offseason in the workout room, in the weight room. So, uh, I think Vert is up and over that. Mm -hmm. I think he's ready to go, as with the rest of the guy. All right, so, I mean, and it wasn't – it's not like it was only Vert that you were doing that with. David Long, you know, you, you kind of did the – kind of pushed some buttons there as well. Uh, we saw him respond on, on the football field. What about his offseason? His offseason has, has been tremendous. I mean, he battled through some, some minor aching, troubling little injuries during spring ball. That, you know, he, he just fight it, fought through them, stayed in practice. I think he only missed one practice. And, and then he had a, a, a tremendous offseason as well in the weight room. And, um, you know, I heard great things from Ben, Coach Ben, from, from, from him about David. And David, David's a special cat now. I mean, he's a, he's a very bright individual, takes things very seriously, and uh, works extremely hard. And since his freshman year, I mean, leaps and bounds. I mean, leaps and bounds. So I'm, um, you know, I'm uh, the the in-state guys, especially. I hear a lot more about because I, you know, I know their people. I know where they come from, where they work out, and the, one of the things has been going around the area is man, Ambry Thomas has been working his tail off this off season, whether it's in the weight room, whether it's going to train uh, with, you know, work, getting some field time with anyone who wants to get out there with him. He has really, really been focused on taking his game to the next level. Did you see that in the spring when you had him? Truly, truly have seen that. I mean, since he, since we recruited him, that, that's what you love about him, his tenacity, his want to, his drive. He wants to play, mm -hmm. and he's working hard to do that. And uh, you, you absolutely saw that in, the, in spring ball. Um, he's still young. Mm -hmm. You know, he's still got some things to improve on. But his work ethic has improved, and uh, I think he sees – how he's seeing these older guys, how they're playing, and he's like, hey, I got the same ability. I can do the same things, and that, and that's where he's trending. Right, and you got B-Watt to come back. I mean, B-Watt could have – he could have moved on but opted to come back. Very proud of B-Watt. Right? I mean, this guy, we've been – I've been probably harder on him in the last three years than anybody else. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has – he came out this spring and had a hell of a spring. Really, really good spring. And him, too, in the weight room. All, all our guys. Mm -hmm. All our guys in the weight room. Uh, just getting just rave reviews about them. So ha proud of them all. Now it, it's, okay, that, that part's over. Now we just got to pick up and start all over again and do it again throughout this season, this fall practice and season.